know that throughout a child's lifetime, they have to learn a lot of words. And uh, there's an estimate that children know about 50,000 words by the time they graduate from high school. And if you do the math, that means that they need to learn seven new words every single day. Uh, the problem that uh, we find for children with hearing loss is that the hearing loss prevents them from hearing words very accurately. Um, it also prevents them from being able to hear words altogether. So it reduces the opportunities they have to learn new words. And as a result, what we've seen is that the knowledge, the vocabulary knowledge of children with hearing loss uh, is just smaller than children with normal hearing. In my lab, we've studied a number of different types of hearing devices and different configurations to determine which provides the best sound or input to the child so that they can learn words hopefully as easily and as quickly as their normal hearing peers. Uh, our most recent study was with the Ponto, which is a bone anchored hearing system, and we configured it in two different configurations. Uh, one was where it was attached uh, in a skin drive configuration, so the child wore it on a soft band, and then in a direct drive, sort of a direct sound transmission configuration where they wore it on their own implanted abutment. We tested each of them with four different tasks. And, and what we find to be the most interesting task is our word learning task. And in this task, we ask children to associate a word they've not heard before, it's a word we make up, uh, with a nonsense image. So they have to learn several of these at the same time through a process of trial and error, but they're given reinforcement for each correct response. And they, they learn how to take this auditory input and associate it with this word. So when we analyzed the results, we found that when the device on the soft band was activated, the children needed many, many more trials to learn the six words that we had them learn. It was about 166 trials. But when they were using the direct drive device, um, they only needed 60. So that's more than two and a half times faster learning. If we can give children a clearer, more comprehensive signal, they can learn much faster. So the, the test that we do in the laboratory is just a laboratory test, but it has implications outside the lab, and they're very strong implications. And so we, we think that the, the data suggests that they will do quite a bit better with the direct drive device because they're getting that clearer, more comprehensive signal. What we found is that the younger children actually benefited the most from the direct sound transmission relative to wearing the device on the soft band for uh, more of the tasks than the older children did. So that suggests to us that the younger a child is, the more benefit they'll receive from having that direct sound transmission. Results are, are helpful to clinicians because they can give this sort of information to parents who are trying to decide whether uh, having the abutment surgery is going to be worthwhile for their child, and our data suggests that it would be.